Welcome. Wasi 2023 Federal Mathematics, the elective math section B. Question 4B. So we have to find the binomial expansion of 3R minus 2S exponent 4. You know, under binomial expansion, we can use three methods to arrive at the answer, either by using the normal binomial expansion method or using the Pascal triangle or even using combination methods. So I'll try and use two of the methods in this video, beginning with the binomial expansion. So for us to be able to get this, let's have a recall of what the binomial expansion is of the form A plus X exponent N. We know that definitely the expansion is based on the multiplication of the two terms with that of what? The exponent. So we know the first one is going to be, we have A exponent N. Now here we are having the powers of the first term decreasing as the powers of the second term what increasing so if this is the beginning x will be exponent zero so the next term will be the product of the n a and x but as i said the powers will be decreasing for the a the first term so let's imagine the a is having the power of four as you are seeing you know here is going to be a power of three how do we get that four minus one and the four is the n so here become n minus what? 1. I mean the x here have a power 0. So this become a power 1. Then we have this. The next term will be n. Then the, the n will also decrease. To become n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial. This is the coefficient of the product of a and x. So your a will come. Exponent n minus 1. The next will be n minus 2. This become exponent 1, so now become exponent 2. This addition continues until we get x exponent n, meaning as the values of the exponent of n is decreasing, it will also get to a point where you have what? a exponent 0, and that 0 is 1, multiplying this. So this is what we get. There are so many series in that. But how do we know how many times we are going to have, or how many terms we are going to have? We know that the terms to have is n plus 1, meaning the number of 10 exponents plus 1. So in this case, it means we'll be having five different terms. All right, so here we have first term, second term, the third term, there will be the fourth before the final term will come. But let's do substitution, where we can say that our a from here is in the question as 3r. Then our x, which is the second term, is in the question as a negative. So negative 2x. Then finally our n is going to be the power 4. So we can do a substitution by replacing the a and the x and the n with the values we have in the question. Right? Okay, let's go. What is it going to be? The first term is a. And what is the a? a is what? 3r exponent n, which is not going to be 4, plus n, which is 4, a, which is 3r exponent 3, which is 4 minus 1, right? x will come, and your x is negative 2x, exponent 1. So the first term, the second term. Let's go to the third term. It's going to be the n, which is 4. Multiply 4 minus 1, that will be what? 3 factorials of 2. Then your a is going to multiply. Going to be 3r exponent 3 exponent 2. Do we get that? Then your x, which is having exponent 1 here, will not be having exponent 2. I believe you are following the trend. 3, the a have exponent 3, therefore exponent 2. x has exponent 1, therefore exponent 2. We are decreasing for the first term, increasing for the second term. Then the next term, don't forget you are looking for 5 terms. 1, 2, 
three, then four. What will it be? Four, three, two. I believe you understand. N, N minus one. That will be four. N minus two. That will be what? The two we are having there. That will be divided by three factorial. What will be the A? The A is three exponent R. Right? Three R. Here, exponent two, exponent two. Exponent 3, exponent 2, exponent 1. So nothing to be written. Then your next term will be minus 2s, exponent 2, exponent 3. Did we get that? Good. Then the next term to do, going to be an addition, will still be 4 minus 1 will be 3, minus 2 will be 2, minus 3 will be 1, all divided by 4 factorial, right? If that is the case, what follows next? Your 3R here, that is going to be exponent what? 1, exponent 0, here will be, what do I have? Uh, Minus 2s, exponent 3, exponent what? 4. So let's check our term. First term, second term ended here. Third term end here. The fourth term, then the fifth term. We can see it right here that we are having the, the second term exponent 4. As you can see here, this is going to be 1. So no need to have this, all of this is going to be 1, then we get these values. So now let's go through and see how we can simplify it. This is going to be 3 exponent 4 times r exponent 4. So 3 exponent 4, I believe, will give us 81, then r exponent 4 in the first case. The second case is also going to mean 3 exponent 3, which will be 27, times this. This is a coefficient. If this multiply become a power of 3, that will give us the value of 27. And that will multiply this. Don't forget, this negative 2 will also come as a coefficient to multiply. Then we are left with r exponent 3 and s. So let's see what that multiplication will be. That is going to mean that I have 27 in this case times 4, which is this, times negative 2. So in this case, I would have negative 216 r exponent 3 and s exponent 1, right from here. The s have a power of 1. So let's move on to this. Don't forget 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So it means 2 will be going here 2 times. Remember 2. 2 times this will give us 6. So let's get our 6 down. This is going to be 3 exponent 2. That will be 9. R exponent 2. This is going to be negative 2 exponent 2. That will be 4. So this will be 24 times 9. And that also gives us 216. Don't forget the negative is not squared. So plus 2, 16, r exponent 2, s exponent 2. Right here. Good. The next term is going to be here. So let's see plus before. If you're having 3 factorial, it will be 3 times 2 times 1. So in this case, this guy and this guy are 6. This and this will also be 6. So we are left with only 4, which is going to multiply 3 to give us 12. 3, 4, 12. This is going to be 2 exponent 3, which is negative. So we negative answer. That will be times negative 8. And I believe that to be negative 96, right? So this becomes minus 96. What is the power of R? 1. The power of S. 
You get that? All right. Let's go. This is going to be 4 factorial, which is 4 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which means everything here will cancel from the numerator and the denominator. 3 exponent 0 will be 1. R exponent 0 will be 1. So everything is 1. Then I am left at this place, negative 2 exponent 4. That would be a positive, uh, I think, 64 or 16. So this becomes plus 16, then S exponent 4. Let's check whether we get all the terms that are 5. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So this is the expansion that we are looking for if we are to expand this using binomial expansion. Okay, so we can also use the Pascal triangle in order to arrive at the same answer. So in how do we generate the Pascal triangle? We know it started from one, then we open up one, one will begin again, but one plus one give us what two, then we get one ending it. You open up with 1, 1 plus 2 will be 3, 2 plus 1 will be 3, you get 1. This will also begin with 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. We can continue again to get 1, 5, 10 in that order. But don't forget, I mentioned that we need n plus 1, 10. So the first term, second term, third, fourth, fifth term. So this are the coefficient of our expansion. And we know very well that if I'm doing that expansion, the first term comes with the, the first coefficient, which is 1. 1 multiplied the first term doesn't change. The powers of the first term decreases, whilst the second term increasing. So I'll be having from here, that will be 3r exponent 4, which is the 4 here. Then let's have plus... What is it? The coefficient is 4. I didn't write a 1 because 1 doesn't bring any change. Then we have the first term, 3r exponent decrease to 3. Then minus 2s exponent begin with 1. Plus the next coefficient will be 6, right? Into bracket, first term, 3r exponent 4. 3, 2, negative 2, R, exponent 0, 1, 2, plus the next coefficient will be 4, right? The 4 will come into bracket first term, 3, R, exponent 3, 2, 1, minus 2, X, exponent 1, 2, 3. The last coefficient will be plus 1 times the last term, which will be our negative 2x exponent 4. Let's check. If you check this carefully, you will see it being repeating here. So if I expand this, it will give me the 81 r exponent 4. If you take out this, 4, 3 exponent 3, negative 2, 4, 3 exponent 3, negative 2, I'll get the same answer. Let's go here. 3 times this. Uh, yeah, 3 exponent 2 will be 9. 9 times 6 times 4 will still give us the same thing. The multiplication we did here. Which is also seeing itself in this place. Because this is cancelling uh, itself here. 2. Remaining 2. 2, 3, 6. This remain, this remain. So the answer will be there. The next term will be this, 4 times 3 times negative 8, 4 times, I think this is cancelling this, then 4 times 3, negative 8, next answer. Then finally, all this will become 1, negative 2x exponent 4, negative 2x exponent 4. So using the Pascal triangle, we also from here, you move to this, then you move to this as well. 
So that is the use of Pascal triangle. The first one is the binomial expansion method. The third one is the use of uh, combination formula. I believe you can also try that and see if you arrive at the same answer. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.